Hey everyone, this is Spencer, and I'm here to show you the loadout I used with the Technot 30 on a five-day trip to Portland. I flew there non-stop on Southwest, you know, the every seat is first class airline. I'm a somewhat minimalist techie traveler, and my packing list reflects that. Let's start with the bottom pocket. I have in here five pairs of underwear and socks and my swimsuit. Inside the main compartment, I have my AirPod Max headphones, my spiff kit, my handy little thing in size one, a Tom Bin packing cube, not sure what bag it's for, containing five shirts and an extra pair of jeans, and an absolute shoulder strap for testing out shoulder carry. In the shorter side pocket, I put an anchor battery that I used to keep my laptop charged on the plane. For the curious, it holds about an extra full charge for a 2020 MacBook Pro 16 inch. In the top pocket, I kept my sunglasses, my phone, and my road mic, which I used to record some live footage I will show you shortly. Finally, I brought my trusty MacBook Pro 16 inch, no iPad Pro this time. My main way to carry the bag was the backpack straps, which I felt were most comfortable. The strap became way too uncomfortable to carry after about five minutes of carrying, so I ended up putting it away pretty quick. A couple more notes about the Tekonaut that I didn't mention before. First, the zippers. The Tekonaut uses the new Easy Open zippers, which Tom Bin blogged about recently. I have to say, I love these zippers. They are super easy to operate, yet still feel very secure when the bag is closed. Also, the laptop compartment is lined with a different, more slippery fabric that does not have a creative Tom Bin name. It's just called Lightweight Ripstop Nylon on the website. Let's name it Zoinks with an X. Its slipperiness makes it super easy to slide the laptop in and out. Now, on to some live shots. I had my wife carry the Aeronaut 30 so that I could compare and contrast carrying both of them. She tried the Tekonaut, and for the short amount of time we were going through the airport, she said she didn't notice any difference. Me, on the other hand... Alright, so I'm carrying the Aeronaut 30, trying to create some kind of like test, right, to see if the Tekonaut is significantly different. I will say, the straps, the loadouts are very similar, and the straps feel very similar as well. Like, I can tell these ones aren't as padded, but that's fine. Um, more importantly, though, uh, my back is kind of starting to get a little hot. So I could tell right away that that breathing, that that breathing mesh back uh, is, is definitely doing something because I could feel the heat building up just a little bit. It's not a ton, but it's noticeable. To be fair, I've only been walking with it for about 10 minutes. So, you know, longer testing is needed, but there you go.